your LinkedIn insight tag, your Facebook pixel or Google analytics of LinkedIn. Hi, my name is Chris Casalino, and I am the co-founder and head of services at Uptown Creation, a B2B marketing and business development company. If this video helps you out or if any of my previous videos have helped you, please drop a like and subscribe to this channel. It really, really helps us out. So what I'll be talking about today is the LinkedIn insight tag. And there's a link in the description of how to find that in LinkedIn itself. But I want to go over what it is, how to find it, where to put it and what you can do with it. So you might be familiar with Google Analytics or a Facebook pixel. Well, the LinkedIn insight tag is the data tracker of LinkedIn. So this is something that you can put in the back end of your website and it'll keep track of the people who are visiting different pages on your website and then allow you to use the LinkedIn ads platform to retarget those people in some sort of way or just get analytics on an initial campaign you're running. So maybe you set up an ad campaign, you have the insight tag on your website, and now you're seeing the conversions of those first time visitors that are coming directly from your ad campaign. Or maybe you want to get the data of people that are you know, not seeing you on LinkedIn, but are coming from you know, traffic from Facebook or traffic from any other place on the internet to your website, but you want to retarget those people using LinkedIn ads, which I think is a really effective way to spend your ad spend. That is going to be the utility of hooking up a LinkedIn insight tag. And I think above anything, it is something that you can kind of set and forget and you never have to think about it, but you're going to be collecting some really, really valuable data. So even if you don't think that you want to run ads today, or even in the next year, you don't think you want to run ads on LinkedIn, it's in your best interest to set up the LinkedIn insight tag on your website. So you're able to have this data if the time ever comes that you want to run a paid ad or paid traffic campaign. So that is kind of the LinkedIn insight tag 101. So first I'll show you kind of what it looks like, and then I will show you where to find it. So this is the LinkedIn marketing solutions page talking about the insight tag that I have a link in the description of this video to. But this is showing you, you know, conversions, the number of clicks, the number of views, the audience and how that audience matches and being able to distinguish a specific audience, make lookalike audiences, which is really, really valuable if you're running new ad campaigns and then be able to re-engage those viewers and retarget those viewers on LinkedIn who are going to your website. So, you know, maybe somebody gets all the way to your product page and then they don't schedule a demo. Those are really good people to retarget for scheduling a demo. Or maybe somebody gets all the way to the page where they would schedule a call with you, but they never actually click through and get to that next page where they actually have scheduled the call. Those are really good people to retarget for that reason. And it's another good way to learn insights about your audience at no cost. So really knowing the types of people that are viewing your page and the demographics. So obviously Google Analytics and Facebook Pixel and other, other trackers similar to the LinkedIn Insight tag are able to do this sort of thing. But this is just another way and another asset to have. And that's how you can really think of this Insight tag. Just like a Facebook Pixel, just like Google Analytics, this is a digital asset that you're building for the long term that then you can you know, put money in and more cost effectively spend on advertisements in the future. So that is really the utility of it. If you have somebody else who has helped you build your website, you can send this directly to them and I'll show you how to do that. If you know how to access the global footer or global header of your website and put this in yourself, you can do that as well. You can also just do a quick Google search of you know global header and global footer to find it and then figure out how to input that based on those instructions. They're usually pretty straightforward, but if you're paying somebody to manage your website, you may as well just have them do that. So let's jump into where you can find the insights tag. So the first thing that you'll do is if you're at the LinkedIn homepage, you'll click this drop down where it says work 
and then you'll hit advertise. And this will bring you to the back end of LinkedIn's campaign manager, ad campaign manager. And then if you click into one of the ad campaigns, then you'll see at the top here, this account assets. And this is where you can click the insight tag. You can see for this account, I don't have anything set up right now. So you can't see the data, but this is where you would see it and see where it's hooked up and everything. But then you can click see my insight tag and then you can hit the drop down to get the code yourself. You can send it to a developer or you can choose to do this through a tags manager. And that is another way to do it. So you can also access this page by the link that I put in the description and clicking install your tag and then going to your campaign manager directly from there. And then you can click through kind of how I just showed you to click through that page. So just to recap what I went over in this video, the LinkedIn insight tag is the equivalent to a Facebook pixel or Google analytics. It's analytics and tracking for your website that you can then view on LinkedIn and build an asset that then you can either retarget those exact people or build lookalike audiences to run future advertisement campaigns on LinkedIn. It's in your best interest to hook this up as soon as possible, even if you have no interest in running ads in the near future or you don't think ever, this is still gonna be good just to have as a digital asset, like I said. Then I showed you kind of how to click around and where to find the insight tag. And then you can search how to find and input a tag like the insight tag into your global footer of your website, or you can share that code with whoever helps you manage your website and go from there. Hopefully this video was helpful. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel if it was. Connect with me on LinkedIn at Chris Casolino and check out our website at uptowncreation.com. Until next time.